Hello again. I'm Washington Witterburn, and I'm the Principal Product Manager for the ANSYS Systems Toolkit, SDK, and Orbit Determination Toolkit, ODTK. And I'll be giving a quick overview of the latest 2024 R1 releases, SDK 12.8 and ODTK 7.8. So let's get started. There are multiple challenges to overcome when considering the design and operation of large satellite constellations. Primary among these is ensuring end-to-end -end connectivity for any geographically dispersed consumers of those constellation services. This release of SDK now offers expanded capabilities for users leveraging SDK's chains and constellation objects to construct and analyze complex data relay and multi-object connectivity paths. Previous versions of SDK were able to produce all the necessary link information that defined the total collection of possible paths through a given constellation. However, users often needed to apply additional constraints in order to narrow the number of viable options. This usually meant exporting data for further analysis using external tools. Updates with this release include the ability to apply additional constraints, such as the minimum or maximum number of hops within any layer of a constellation, as well as metrics to qualify optimal paths, such as total distance, total time, RF system metrics, and many other calculations that SDK can provide via the analysis workbench. Creating a detailed performance model is essential to realizing the value of SDK's aviator capability for defining realistic performance-based aircraft trajectories. In order to provide flexibility in defining models while maintaining high levels of detail that enable powerful analyses, there are a range of options available for users to define these aircraft performance models. Further, to accommodate aviators' broad trajectory modeling, these models interact in complex ways with modeled procedures used to detail aircraft flight paths. All of these combined can produce an intimidating set of options, especially for users unfamiliar with aviation flight planning or aircraft flight performance. In an effort to help users get started quicker and with minimal modeling steps, the release of SDK provides an enhanced workflow to help guide customers through defining aircraft performance models. This tool helps customers understand the existing performance model capabilities while increasing confidence in building aircraft models and encouraging more exploration into aviators' advanced capabilities. Users will now notice options for simplified definition workflows directly within SDK's aviator design tool, shortening the runway to achieving high fidelity model-based flight trajectories. Advanced capabilities for interplanetary mission support continue to be a focus of the SDK and ODTK teams. This release includes expanded support for surface vehicle tracking and position solutions. Being able to provide tracking and position estimation for planetary rovers requires that mission plans are considered along with collected tracking data in order to resolve accurate route solutions. Users can now process their tracking data while referencing planned velocity vectors and long duration stationary periods without position uncertainty growing unnecessarily. Mission plans and anticipated actions can now be referenced and considered when processing measurement data, providing more accurate trajectory and position information. In addition, ODTK's optical navigation capabilities have been updated to include the simulation of optical landmark measurements. These landmarks locations are supplied to ODTK and associated with the appropriate planetary bodies, which can be important for missions in lunar and cislunar space to reduce dependence on Earth-based tracking. The installation of Behavior Execution Engine, B, now includes a SysML client user interface that provides a convenient way to interact with your SysML modeling project and also run simulations using the delegate modules that connect to your analysis and simulation tools. This new capability comes in two form factors. For SDK users, there is now a UI plugin that provides the SysML client inside the SDK environment. For other users, or users who prefer interacting with SysML outside the SDK application, B also includes an independent SysML client application. The new SysML client reintroduces new and improved diagnostic tools and code generation capabilities that were removed prior to 2024 R1. These tools assist users during the model and delegates generation process, streamlining their development efforts and accelerating the timeline to arrive at a meaningful analytical result. 
This release also includes enhancements to SDK's ability to accurately account for refraction, diffraction, and reflection effects on RF communications in urban environments, support for streaming of additional online global 3D tile sets, improved support for containerization via a new gRPC-enabled Python API, and a streamlined coverage wizard to simplify the most common sensor coverage analysis tasks. Be sure to check out some of the additional videos for a deeper dive into some of these new features. As always, these latest releases are available for download from AGI.com. Thanks for watching.